Well, here I am on a Friday afternoon. It's the 20th of October, 2023, and I'm sitting here having my lunch and a beer, which is a crankshaft uh, put out by uh, Ben Spoke, Spoke Brewery. Uh, this is my second uh, pint during my lunch hour, setting me up for a bit of a cruisy afternoon in uh, this office. I drove in this morning uh, and parked my car in the car park underneath the building. Uh, the, the drive being a bit of a therapy because I didn't want to come in this afternoon or today, full stop. Uh, so the drive was a bit of a, a bit of relaxation uh, for yet another day in this place. Uh, and it took me half an hour from Roselands to uh, Barangaroo in, the, in Sydney, so it wasn't a bad trip, so good. And I've got the nice drive home, uh, scheduled for 5.15 this afternoon. It's a sunny day, it's a lunchtime. Um, what, more can you, what more can you want? Looking to get into the bush tomorrow with the missus and maybe do some exploring and some more photography of my beloved beasts. Um, insects and otherwise and it reminds me I was looking at my um, my video online of the uh, of the uh, leeches that were feeding on my leg that was back in uh, March of this year and we're now heading towards the back end of October so it's seven months since they last fed it's quite amazing and I looked at them um, yesterday and they both still have some body mass so they're still digesting the blood or the, the solids within my blood uh, that they consumed so long ago. They're quite amazing animals that they can sit there uh, under the ground uh, having eaten so long ago and yet still be alive and still be viable, etc. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing when they emerge and when I can feed them again. And it's interesting that of all my videos, it's a short video of them feeding on my leg, but it's it's just gone over the 3,000 views. So it uh, by far exceeds uh, any of the other videos that I've um, posted online. Yeah, it's Friday. Fucking Friday in fucking Sydney in fucking Australia. Yeah, not a happy chappy at the moment. Just finding life very bored, boring and mediocre. Especially when I have to deal with so many fuckwits around me. In a stupid fuckwit country. Well, what can you do? Sleep patterns are shit. My eating's shit. My drinking's over the top. Who cares? You know, you get to 61. You know, you've had the best part of your life. It's all behind you long ago, if ever there was any. And what do you got to look forward to now? Struggling to, to pay the rent. Struggling to keep employed. Putting up with the increased pains and aches that, that permeate through your body, especially when it gets cold. Maybe someday, you know, top it all off and get bunged into a nursing home if anybody cares enough to do that to you. Yeah, life's a bit, life's a funny thing. I wouldn't mind it if, if I had my way and, and could control those things that I care about, but when you live in a world when it's dominated by the dumb masses, <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, and a dumb regime having ultimate control over everybody and all the rules and regulations that half the time seem to contradict each other and, and, and seem to be rather wayward. You, have not having control over things, not good. This is why I'm giving consideration to my future in terms of employment. Having found myself in a position where, as far as I'm concerned, common sense goes out the door, has gone out the window. 
and mediocrity is the is the rule. You know, common sense is is, is is like a dinosaur; it doesn't exist anymore. You know, I'm a I'm a, not a stupid person. I'm not saying I'm the world's brightest person, but I'm not stupid. You know, I'm articulate and I'm focused and I'm conscientious and uh, principled. And then I seem to have to bow and cow tow to stupidity and mediocrity and inefficiency all the time. And I find that so hard to do. And I look at the younger generation as they walk past me and I think, what the fuck are they doing? And they walk around like the shit don't stink. They've got no idea. They've got no idea. They live in the moment, purely in the moment, and have no vision of the future, even of their own future, you know? It's all madness. It's all madness. I find more saneness and more sensibility in my cat at the moment. She's the, the one person, she's the one organism that never lets me down, that I can confide in without being judged. Yeah, it's not really a beer review, is it? Not that I'm a beer reviewer. Just me on a Friday afternoon, being reflective about where I am in, in life, and what's gone before and what lies ahead. You know, I was watching the rise and fall of Reginald Perrin. Um, I've got the, uh, the, the DVD set of that series or series that, that uh, aired back in the 1970s with the wonderful Leonard Rossiter in the, in the lead role. It's a, it's a program that shaped my life immeasurably in many ways. And I've watched it so many, many times over the years, but some of this just seemed fit to put them on, on YouTube. So I'm watching them again and, and, you know, you reflect on the fact that all those actors that were so wonderful back then uh, are now dead. In fact, it was maybe in 2015, something of that nature, where I received an email from David Nobbs, who was the creator of Reginald Perrin and uh, other television series in Britain. And uh, he sent me an email in response to an email I sent him. And uh, he died not so long after sending me the email. And I, I cherish that as a, as a special sort of memento of of a good man in a wonderful series and some great actors. And I sort of reflect on the fact we don't have that kind of quality television anymore. And we don't have people writing scripts that are so interesting and so reflective of the human condition as, as, as is just reflected in that program wonderful stuff. I didn't get where I am today without being impressed by that stuff. You know. Now we live in mediocrity and internet, mobile phones, G-strings. Just crap, really, isn't it? Anyway, I suppose I better wind this video up, finish my beer off and go back to the office and while away another couple of hours fulfilling somebody else's destiny but not my own. It's interesting. Have a good afternoon all the people that care. I wish you well my friend.